Hello, today I'm going to show the basics of JavaScript and using some variables within JavaScript. Uh, with this tutorial, I am going to put the script in line, which is between the body elements. I'm not going to have an external script or call from an external script or put it up in the head tags or the head elements. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create the script elements or the element. Now element could also be tag, you call it script tag or script element. And we are going to type in language, which is JavaScript with a capital J. Now if you put a lowercase j in, it will not work or probably will not work. So you want to get in the habit of making sure that J is capital. And we're going to put in type. And that's going to be text forward slash JavaScript. With low, that's all lowercase. Now what I did here on purpose, if you notice here with the language, there's a space between, you know, language and the equal sign and the space between the starting uh, quotes. Over here, I didn't do that. Now, are any of these wrong? No. Both of these are correct. They will work. But you kind of get yourself in a rhythm in the way you work, and I like to put a space between them. It's not going to hurt it. So that right there defines what type of script we're going to have so the browser knows what to, to execute. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something very basic. Document, which is basically the document, uh, testscript.htm dot write, which is basically saying in the document I want you to write, and then we are going to do uh, open and close parentheses and a colon. Now the colon is basically the terminator to tell it that this line of code is finished, not to continue to, not to take this line and what we would ever have in the next line and add it all as one. So in here, you're going to add two quotation marks. And in the quotation marks, you're defining basically a string. So this could just say, hello, but we're going to put it, hello world. We'll put a little exclamation mark there. Let's go to file. Let's go to save. Let's go over here to Safari. And there it is, hello world. Okay, but you're saying to me, okay, John, that's so easy. Why would I do all that when I could just type in hello world and be done? Well, again, this is just basic stuff, so we're you know, not going to argue that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this out. Now, when you get into more JavaScript, you're going to start wanting to define variables. Basically... See, you know, variables are something that you, you name it and you give it a value. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in var space name equals, and these should go into, I like to put them into uh, quotations. And we'll say Bob. Okay. And we're going to take this to the next step, and let's make a variable called email. And there we go. And we'll say this bob at bob.com. Well, basically, you're, if you look at this, instead of writing Bob all the time, you know, or basically bringing in Bob, you can just type in name, and that will always bring up Bob. Same thing with the email address. So now that we have our variable set, now let's go ahead and let's do, let's actually do it. Because if we actually save this right now, file save, go here, you get a blank page because we only define the variables. So we want to go to document.write. just like before, but now the trick, 
The trick is, because we're calling the variable, we don't need the quotes. Because if we do the quotes and type name, and we save it, you get name. So we need to take those out. File save. Now it says Bob. So now, to kind of save time here, I'm going to copy the text here. And I'm going to paste it. Actually, that didn't paste too well. Let's just type this out. And we're going to type in email. So if we click file and go to save and come up here, now it says Bob Bob at Bob.com. Okay? Now to save that to, to fix this, we can add some HTML in the JavaScript. Now we can't do this. That is not going to work. It's basically gonna fail and cause errors in your JavaScript. So what you have to do is you have to do a document dot write. I'm going to do that. There we go and your terminator. Now this still is not going to work because then it thinks that this might be a variable or look for it as a variable. Now we're going to bring this as a string or the quotations. So basically, when this line is executed, it sees it as HTML and gives you a line break. So we go to File, Save, and here, and there it is. So what I've basically shown you is a very extreme basic of JavaScript, how to write string in JavaScript, and how to define multiple or single variables and write them out. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it is, please subscribe, post any comments, and if you have any future tutorials you'd like to see, you are welcome to email me and let me know.